investment considerations. We are working, and there is an ad hoc committee working on an RFP process that will go out for investment uh, counselor. That is something that hasn't been done uh, for many, many years. That process is underway, and I think by spring we'll have an RFP out there, and then that will talk about um, and sort of open up that dialogue about uh, in investment advice, if you will, and, and how the, the retirement system obtains the guidance that it does. So I think that discussion is marching forward. Uh, also, the, the goal of the retirement system to have um, the meetings uh, recorded and televised, that's definitely a new direction, so that, that can be um, available as a permanent record as well as go out um, uh, t to the public. Uh, also working on a website so um, basic financial documents can be posted. That will be in work, a work in, pro in process because that uh, takes some time to get, to get all the features of um, interactivity and things like that that you, you would have um, at the PERS level. But I think that ultimately we can go to um, a rather enhanced um, Website, but it's going to take some time to do that. I mean, these are these are resources that are, are spread pretty thin right now. But ultimately, I think we're we're going to get there. The other thing we're we're, we're talking about that we've talked about here at um, at the board and also at the retirement board level is the the point of having a joint meeting, and I believe that's on our agenda for for April. That will be after the board has heard the basic financial information coming from the actuary, talking about the contribution rates, and I, I've asked that both. Um, the CEO and the retirement system work on a comprehensive flow chart for the public so the public can understand and decision makers <laughs> can better understand some of the more nuanced um, uh, governance components of the retirement the 1937 retirement act and its applicability to our retirement system and to the county of Mendocino and I think there are some areas that are clearly the retirement board's responsibility, others are the board of supervisors, and some really have some shared responsibility. So I think if we could create a flow chart and get a discussion going, uh, that will be most useful uh, to help everyone understand what the board can and cannot do with respect to investments, what the board of retirement can and cannot do with basically the liability, which is truly a function of the county. The pension obligation bonds are the responsibility of the county of Mendocino. They're not the responsibility of of the retirement board. Um, there's an ad hoc committee that has been created by this body that consists of myself and Supervisor McCowan that will t be talking about some of these areas of shared governance. I think we're, we haven't really finalized exactly what that will look like. It might have to do with some aspects of retiree health, for which because of a resolution from 1998, there is a, a, a function of shared responsibility with dealing with um, retiree health. It is also a, administered by the county but paid currently by the excess earnings of the retirement system. So I think there are a number of things that um, are up for discussion, but I think both bodies are taking um, the debt issues of the county and the financial <coughs> obligations of the retirement system um, very seriously. Thank you. With that, we're going to move on to agenda item 8A, uh, presentation of proclamation recognizing Russ and Sylvia Bartley for their exceptional service to Mendocino County. Uh, this is sponsored by the museum. Herb Pruitt, our museum director, is here. You want to step forward? And Members of the board, this is a pleasure to do. I want to say that um, the archival function of the museum, which includes uh, thousands and thousands of documents and, and photographs from all over the county, other departments as well as historical societies and, and other entities that collect historic and cultural data, has been sorted out to, to a great degree by the efforts of, of Russ and Sylvia Bartley. And uh, I felt that it was time that we recognize them for their, their exceptional service to the county uh, by having a proclamation. And at this point, I would like to ask Kendall if she would present that since the, they live in That's Fort Bragg. Yeah, we'll have Kendall read it. No, please. Okay. And I might add that they have spent uh, several years traveling two days a week from Fort Bragg to Willits. That in itself is, is pretty, uh, pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Supervisor. Well, yeah. So this is a proclamation of the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors, recognition of Russ and Sylvia Bartley for their exceptional service to Mendocino County. 
whereas Russ and Sylvia Bartley have worked diligently, professionally, and reliably to make Mendocino County's archival collections a real asset to our community. And whereas the Bartleys have provided exceptional service to the county in all their capacities, in addition to their dedication to the archival collections, they are the chief organizers of Mendocino County Heritage Network, an informal bi-monthly forum for 21 Mendocino County tourist, academic, history-focused organizations where mutual problems and successes can be discussed and shared. And whereas the Bartleys are also qualified geologists and have done important geological research in the, nor in the northeastern Round Valley Eel River areas, mapping geologic formations. In this vein, they also acquired the the transfer of the Clark <coughs> archival papers from the University of California to Mendocino County Museum. And whereas Sylvia Bartley authored a Mendocino County Museum grassroots publication entitled The 1906 Earthquake on California's <coughs> North Coast, detailing the effect of the famous earthquake on the northern part of California with many local Mendocino County photographs of the aftermath. And whereas together the Bartleys edited and translated Russian language material for the Nelson Brothers, another museum publication in cooperation with the Mendocino County Historical Society and University of Minnesota that presents the story of a Fort Bragg family and their ordeal with Soviet Russia in the 1930s, a fascinating and informative investigation of local ties to international intrigue. And whereas the Bartleys have been instrumental in comprehensive compilation of county archival collections and the new museum-oriented database, Past Perfect, that is now filled with converted data from previous outmoded computer entries of the last 14 or 15 years. The museum's trustees and advisors appreciate that due to the dedication and commitment of the Bartleys have demonstrated over the years the archival module will eventually have all of our archival data entered in addition to object and library collections. Now therefore be it resolved that the Board of Supervisors of the County of Mendocino, museum's trustees and advisors hereby proclaims recognition of Russ and Sylvia Bartley for their exceptional service to Mendocino County. And that is a motion, motion Mr. Chair. Do you have a second? Second. And a second by Supervisor yeah, Kofi? It's already been done. Oh, it's already, oh, it's already been, been done. done. We okay. passed it a few weeks ago. Okay. December uh, <laughs> 16th. We, we would do it again if necessary. <laughs> Any member of the public want to speak? Do you want to say a few words? <laughs> Into the mic. Here, yeah. Well, in these economically challenging times, uh, I hope that a lot more people feel moved to give back to their communities. We very much appreciate this recognition. Uh, we'll value it highly. We are all concerned, of course, about the economic crisis and what it means or may mean for an institution like the Mendocino County Museum. Uh, I would say that this, as I think many of you understand, is a major cultural asset to this county and that the economic crisis in no way lessens the importance of the museum's purpose and function in the county and indeed we could argue it actually increases the importance. Uh, this is a time when people need to stop and reflect on our collective heritage and what it can tell us about how we got to where we are and where we are going. So. <coughs> fully anticipating practical problems down the road and not very far down the road, uh, we would urge the board to continue to give the museum all the support that is